Good morning. What makes the earth tremble? Our reading is Jeremiah 50, verses 41 to 46 today. Behold, a people shall come from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the ends of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and shall not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea. They shall ride on horses, set in array like a man for the battle against you, O daughter of Babylon. The king of Babylon has heard the report about them, and his hands grow feeble. Anguish has taken hold of him, pangs as of a woman in childbirth. Behold, he shall come up like a lion from the floodplain of the Jordan against the dwelling place of the strong, but I will make them suddenly run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I may appoint over her? Who is like me? Who will arraign me? And who is that shepherd who will withstand me? Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord that he has taken against Babylon and his purposes that he has proposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he will make their dwelling place desolate with them. At the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth trembles and the cry is heard among the nations. Here's a picture of Babylon's destruction. Again, it looks triumphant, but we're shown a picture here of God will have his way. And look at the question he asks back there at verse 44. Who's like me? Who will arraign me? Who's that shepherd who will withstand me? Yeah, who is the Hitler, the Eisenhower, the Churchill, the Stalin, the president, the king, good or, good or bad? Who's the one that's going to stand against the God of heaven? And the answer is absolutely clear. Not one, not one. Who will stand against God? When God raises them up, they go up. When God sends them down, they go down. God is on his throne. Babylon will not continue. Error will not continue. At the noise of the taking of Babylon, the earth trembles. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you are in control. Good things are coming. Help us to follow Jesus. Lord, this is our prayer. Even when we look out and all the things we hear in the news are secular politics, secular politics. It's just happening all the time. May we not lose our way, Lord. May we remember we're Christians. We are pilgrims and strangers here. Jesus is coming soon. Thank you for hearing our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, God is good, and he loves us. Well, Babylon is big and bad and invincible, but not so. It just sort of looks that way. And that's the way that Babylon wants you to see it. I'm invincible. You can't beat me. I'm Babylon. Just give up. I'm going to win. Absolutely not. Why should we buy that? The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. Mark it down. Have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus.